ABC News, Keisha Marcel Brown, special correspondent, State University of New York sociologist, expert at public policy. Uh, living and staying in New York uh, most of my life, which was previously Atlanta, Georgia, before that, uh, which was Peachtree, Georgia, Augusta, Georgia, before that uh, was Philadelphia. Uh, there's a troubling trend as known uh, because of the 9-11 World Trade Center bombings of Kodak and Xerox. Uh, there are several terrorists here in police cars, sheriff's cars. Uh, they make these homemade sheriff cars that are stealth and black. And wait till you go to a shopping area and jump. You take your purse, your money, your wallet, and force you to leave because they want you to shop at bodegas where they have stolen goods and they can uh, just eat, eat potato chips all day. You can't get a full meal. Uh, also, uh, when they take your money, you're dead broke. But if you go to a restaurant and uh, or to Walmart, McDonald's or Burger King or uh, Pizza Hut, people are coming in and out. That's where you could find somebody to help you to buy some food. You got to do that if you don't have any food. They tell you go into the hospital, it's your mental case. Let's do a physical exam on you. Or they jump you and tell you you're panhandling and this is after they stole your money. Listen Superman, the man is still. That's not correct. This did happen several times throughout history. It was called slavery. However, there are naysayers among all people, especially black people. Young black people do, do not believe the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran that slavery has been millions of years in working just on this planet or about who the Neanderthal also are, because who are the humans? But why is the sky gray? Because it's been bombed. It's often called pollution or fog. Precipitation, a tsunami, a tornado, a hurricane, a noise storm, white noise. What uh, terrorists do is put chemicals and oil compounds in the air and they rise to the sky. The temperature should be approximately 80 something degrees today. However, Fahrenheit is about 30, and it feels like Jack Frost. For many um, blacks throughout slavery, throughout all the ages, it was known as frost, or it was known as winter. Uh, obviously, there is the science to do so, and we know about um, who would be likely to be engaged in that George Washington, Napoleon, uh, Genghis Khan. So it's really nothing. Uh, to be amazed at. And that's just it. Timothy McVeigh. You always act like these bombing days are status quo for everybody. But then when it's time for us to eat, the people that you're trying to terrorize, including turn on the television and say ABC News, everything's got to be turned off and closed. And you come out as George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, Adam Smith. Give me liberty or give me death. And when people are running for their lives, they might kill my babies, my teenagers. They might kill my my man and my, my, my woman, my husband, my wife. They might steal my car. Who? The police. The 9-11 Trade Center bombers. ABC News. The world's leading broadcast journalism. Keisha Brown and for Robin Robbins. Good morning, America.